What's up guys, this is Mr. Gaming, and today we are doing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, I'm going to help out with the Predator Challenge. So, um, pretty much what this is, is here it says here on Solo Challenges, you have to find all the clues to the Predator's location, find the Predator, and then have to kill him. The first two, find all the clues to the Predator location, and find the Predator, that is easy but when it comes to kill the predator everyone's having trouble with that so i'm here to actually show you the easy way i've spent a lot of time into this trying to figure out the easy way to kill the predator and there actually is a easy way to kill him so what you have to do though is disable tier mode you do not want tier whatsoever you really do not i mean i'm only level 48 tier so it wouldn't be bad for me but just try to not go on tier mode um Next, what you're gonna do is, I'm already at the part, I just finished my third clue, and my third clue was the spaceship, and there's the predator there. So, my first clue, uh, my third clue was the, uh, the spaceship, and over there, I have to investigate further, and that's where you find the predator. So, what you're gonna do is, um, personally, it doesn't matter what weapons you have, it's not entirely, you know, oh yeah, I need this and I need that. Pretty much just try to get the best weapons that you can, try not to make it, like, you know, just, you know, try, try to get some good weapons. Make sure you have tier mode off, and put your difficulty on arcade. Now, I know a lot of people have that, and it still is extremely difficult to complete this mission i'll tell you why it's because his weapon is an insta kill so as soon as he hits you with his blast or whatever that is or his throwing discs or whatever it kills you instantly so um there is an easy way to do this but you just gotta stick with me throughout this go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that like button uh before we start the video just because i've spent so much time on this and i would really appreciate that all right we're gonna head into this you don't want to do it uh, with uh, online people. That makes it really hard, actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna order a helicopter. Okay, it's over there. So you wanna try to stay with your squad, just because when all the people, like when you have online people, you guys tend to hide in the same area, which is not very good. You don't want to hide in the same area, because if you do that, then the predator will aim for one of you, and then he gets all of you. The squad actually splits apart, so the predator has a target to hit. There's some times where he doesn't even go for you, and I find that's very easy uh, to try to kill him then. So it's gonna let these guys get in the helicopter, or not, actually, I forgot they can just teleport in. We're gonna head over to the location. Alright, so here we are, right in front of the circle, and I know I'm actually very nervous just because this guy kind of freaks me out, he's creepy, you know, yeah, like that, it's, it freaks me out, but so what we're gonna do is, uh, right in the dead center of it, there's an ammo box and like a little circle part, um, so this is like a circle and it's open area and there's an ammo box that's where we're gonna go i know a lot of people say why would you go into the open but it is actually the best spot because there is a great hiding spot there and it makes it very easy for you to dodge the uh the predator and do all that so we're just gonna head in There's the ammo box. So, okay. So here I am at the ammo box. So right to my left is a rock. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up on that rock. Because the he puts like a missile kind of target on you. Is he just standing there? Oh, okay, I just had to shoot him a bit more. So, 
Uh, maybe I'll put on some night vision. So the squad actually splits apart. So when you stand on this rock, you can kind of see where the target is going uh, all the time. Like the target that uh, is pointing on you, whoever. Just for the thing. So yeah, just make sure you're standing on this rock because that way if he has the target on you, you just go to the other side of the rock and he can't hit you. Now, uh, sometimes too, uh, he, he tries to run and hide and when he gets one of your teammates, don't go and revive him no matter what. You have a squad team that's actually the, a lot smarter than you think. And so what you do is if one of them goes down, you do not go and help him. See, just like there. Climb up. There we go. Got him. So that's pretty much the main concept of this. You just want to try to, you know, if he has the target on you, you go to the other side of the rock, and boom. Because the target will stay on you for a good amount of time um, before he actually fires. Like, not, like, you know, an insane amount of time. Now you have to be smart about when to go and get the ammo box. That's pretty much just the main thing that you have to really worry about is going for ammo. Just because he could pop out at any time and just shoot you at the ammo box. So I wouldn't go for ammo though until you're really low, like at 30 bullets left or around there. Okay, now I can go. Oh! Great. Sorry, I didn't run behind the rock. That wasn't very smart. Don't worry. Uh, if you do go down, though, don't freak out. Because for me, uh, there's a skill that allows you to go down more times than what you actually think. Oh, I'm surprised I was live there. Yeah, so there's a skill that allows you to go down like three times. So actually, I think it's the regular thing. Normally, it's once per fight, but if you level that up, you can get three. So if you don't have that skill, then that would make me worry, actually. Just because then you have to be very careful. Yes, your squad is pretty smart on when to revive him. And I like that. Great. Okay. Where is he? Oh, I'll bring up my sniper. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much the main thing though, is just make sure your squad, like your squad knows how to handle it. Pretty much, you just have to do most of the shooting part. Because your squad can go down as many times as they want, and they're fine.
thing I missed. Oh, what? Hey, well, I believe we are close to killing the predator, so we shouldn't have to worry that much. Who? That was lucky. If I went down, I would have been done. Now I just have to be kind of smart about where I go. Okay, so there we go. So we have actually just killed the predator and we have to go over and confirm his death. So what's gonna happen is we come over here and he sets a bomb on himself. So as soon as the gray circle appears on your map, start running out. So just like this, you can run out. You have to try to just go out like as fast as you can. we are fine and they didn't escape the circle oh yeah that's another thing you have to clearly be out of the circle like you can't just be you know part way out you have to be uh, like actually out of the circle at least as far as i was if you want just go back just like a minute or so and watch of how far i went back and that is the mission on how to kill the predator so pretty much the main stuff is do not do it online uh do it with your squad uh like your ai bots uh, not bots i guess but ai squad have it on the lowest difficulty do not have tier one on um try to have i'll try to find the true revive thing i believe it's physical no it is not i will try to find it here Is there a thing? I believe there is. Oh, last ch chance. So, uh, you want to try to get last chance. So all you have to do though is get at least the first thing in every single one of these. So the first point in there, first point in there, first point in there, and etc. On and on and on. So yeah, try to have that. Um, make sure you're on the lowest difficulty. Make sure you're playing with your AI squad. And yeah, actually, the mission's a lot easier than you think. And most importantly, when you go down, do not freak out. And that's pretty much the main stuff to remember. And I hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really actually enjoyed that. Hope hopefully that was a help to you. Um, cause I found it. it was a little bit hard at first to me. I tried it over and over and over and even with a squ uh, squad from online players, I was doing it like 10 times, 20 times. Like it was really hard to complete it. And then I did it on solo like this and I just did it over and over. And then eventually I figured out how to beat him and just try to stay on that rock and avoid his lasers. Wherever his lasers pointing, go to the one side of the rock where you won't get hit. Well, that's it for now. If you guys want to see more tutorial or more gaming, hit the subscribe button, as I said earlier, and we will see you guys later.